ghosts, ghouls, and, and, and homunculi. That's pretty strong. All right. I think you play as Barry Burn. The sprite sure looked like him. After his daughter is kidnapped by an unidentified strike team, Barry follows them to the island not be- found on any map. Can he make it past the hordes of monsters to save his little girl? So, yeah, you play as Barry Burton, but you're playing ghosts and goblins. Congratulations to the fun devs that came up with this that probably did so unapproved <laughs> by, by... And it's too late. We already yeah, put yeah, it in yeah. the game. Unapproved by, Publ- by, by Capcom, by biz, me, by biz dev. <laughs> this kind of reminds me of, remember the Dark Void game? That mm. demake that was like a yeah Dark game Void, Void Zero, Dark yeah. Void Zero yeah. and that was like the best thing that came out of Dark Void yeah so it's similar to that no this is the, like this is not games as a service what are you doing <sighs> should we cancel this well it's a, it's coming out tomorrow should we cancel this it's not games as a service dude I don't know if I ever told you about when I went into the meeting room where the biggest of wigs at 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 very big, large wig very large wigs at, at at old old strike stomping grounds right came in to talk about the new philosophy of games of a service and how we need to move and this is everything ago. yeah every yeah how we need to move everything in that direction mm. and like you could hear Liam and my eyes rolling in our heads <laughs> like you could hear Wait, you the, can hear Liam's eyes rolling in your head you could hear oh. it you could hear the Oh, and, and it was just like this is yep G A A S. This yeah. is this is what it is. It's all about the and, gas. And that was at a time where it wasn't even really no one knew feasi- what the... feasible yet. No one knew how to nail it. Well, everyone knew that the companies doing it right didn't even know what they were doing, doing right yeah, yeah, when yeah. they started it. And like they're looking at things like big hits like League and any online game, yeah, you know, yeah. and just going like, oh my god, yeah. They invented a thing without knowing they were striking it hot. We need to emulate that. Mm-hmm. And we need to move away from game... single player stories. <laughs> single player and or even multiplayer stories. S- yeah, yeah. You know, we need to move away from purchasing a video game that you are then finished with. <laughs> no. You... And we need to get back here and play. Yeah, you know, and yeah. and and it just really like Hey, it, and honestly, I'm fine with games as a service for like two or three big games a year, but I don't like everyone. Like if everyone tries to be the same thing, then no, no one see, is the, anything. The, the problem with the phrase games as a service is that it encapsulates the fact that this is now the goal that your company is working towards. It's no longer the, like a thought that comes from having an, a good idea for a multiplayer game. Yes. It's no longer a thought that is like natural because you're like yeah well this is about uh, a bunch of players getting dropped on an island shooting each other and surviving and you mm-hmm, play for a mm-hmm. while and you play online and thus naturally you're going to be coming back to this and you only play online we're going to add new things every so often and therefore Free things it, yeah probably, and so yeah. it kind of serves like it acts as a service like it's not like incidental it's just that it's now like like this... overwatch is a game as a service basically now right. as well but 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 the difference between you know like just like releasing it because it's what it's a okay, case like what the best design for the game is versus putting this up above your fucking company's headline. Yeah. You know, and in turn, you, you, you know, like don't, don't forget, uh, you're here forever. Yeah. Right. Just imagine in the offices, every cubicle has games as a service pasted up above it because nothing is going to get through creatively. That is not, uh, 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 using that as a, as a, as a design philosophy. Yeah. And anything that would get through, it gets mutated yeah. to include that as much as possible. Mm-hmm. And we saw that in a bunch of the projects came, that came out of, even, at that time. Even games that are still single-player experiences, and the one right now is fucking Shadow of War more, Door more for, like, let's make it games as a service, but it's still a single-player thing. So let's put all this bullshit in it that it doesn't need, loot boxes, whatever. Uh, and it doesn't really like Plague said last podcast. It's like I beat the game without any of that shit. So it was just bolted on for nothing. Bolted on because we think we need it, but we actually really don't. I mean, I always go back to this. Even happens like years ago. Like why? Why does this Assassin's Creed come out every year, or it used to? Because Call of Duty came out every year. Look how much money you can make. And oh uh, yeah. But I always go back to, you know what's better than killing yourself and stretching your franchise thin and getting really, really a lot of fatigue, either like uh, via the entire uh, game, gaming population's perception of it, yeah. is when you fucking drop one mic 
every six years or so and you fucking blow it up. Oh, are you saying when you be the Daniel Day Lewis of the video game when, industry? When you be the Grand Theft Auto Daniel Day Lewis. <laughs> yes, exactly. Because fucking GTA 5 comes out like is the biggest selling thing ever. Then over the course of like two, three years, slowly Xbox One, PS4, and slowly yep. huge multiplayer yep. suite. And you and you fucking actually dominate. You You are the absolute winners. Because by the time another GTA comes out, you're going to sell maybe more as last time. Like, Whereas like all GTAs and, and, and uh, sorry, all um, Assassin's Creed's and Call of Duty's and whatever, they sell less every time. This just in, Daniel Day-Lewis spotted. This just in, Daniel Day-Lewis is gone. You say that on the day that the trailer for his movie drops. Here's yeah. eight awards he just won. Yeah. Here's I'm going to retire. Oscar. I'm going to retire again. See you in a decade. Yeah. <laughs> See you all in a decade. Look, um, I'm going to think about what I can say here, but uh, what? Yeah. Okay. I watched a project that like you all are familiar. You, you, you all saw. Yeah. At this point it would pretty much anyway, blah. Sorry. I'm just going through. Yeah. No, I, I can see the wheels turning I'm, your I'm, head about. Yeah. But you like you. I watched a large scale, project. large major AAA single player adventure mm. uh, that happened to just be that. Eventually expand and include a multiplayer for fun, mm -hmm. and then have the single player entirely scrapped and the multiplayer become the only thing. Yes, and then that budget and then that thing becomes an actual focus, and they go. This is the part of this project that we're going to focus on and push because this is the part that we can make a service. Yeah. And so we're just going to hold on to this multiplayer shell that means nothing without the giant single player campaign that was supposed to come with it. Mm -hmm. And surprise, surprise, no one gave a fuck. Mm. And then time to close that down like seconds after it came out. Mm. And, you know, it was just the, the living application of this, but it doesn't matter because it's worth trying again and again and again because when you strike it once, you strike it for years. Yeah. And the money's too good. But, it, like, it's, 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 more it's, the, it's more we need to make money now and constantly. Like, I guess, you know, me saying, like, uh, Grand Theft Auto must have cost way more than any other game of recent memory. You know, maybe Metal Gear, Phantom Pain or whatever. So I, I can assume that a lot of publishers can afford to just, you know, twiddle their thumbs and wait for a product to be developed over the course of five years. I, I realize that people can't do that, but like with certain franchises, you certainly can. Like Ubisoft could certainly do that with Assassin's Creed now. They have enough other products coming out. They can milk Tom Clancy's bloated corpse for as long as they want, really. And just wait until certain things are ready to be like, have that, have an actual air of anticipation around them. And it worked for me for Assassin's Creed Origins, but you and other people are still like, I'm still good. Like it needs even more, like for some people it still needs even more time in the background until it can come out to a, a after a certain point where it can actually excite you again. That, that launch trailer was pretty hot. Sorry? That launch trailer was pretty okay, hot. Okay, I'm glad because, you know, a few months ago you were like, yeah, it looks okay. That launch sure. trailer was pretty hot. It was pretty um, hot. But yeah, well, it's just, you know, take whatever opinions you have of like someone who's high up in whatever video game company that's like, we want to make and continue to make these games. And then take uh, all the producers that are like, just their job is to look at After the driving finances. all their Ferraris through strip clubs, they decide, oh shit. We need, to make, more, we need to make more. And then echo them, their voices with all the investors. Yeah. Who are the same people whose transcripts you can see in the Nintendo investors meeting. Which is things. painful. They're basically children. Yes. With lots of money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And take those voices and then like embody those in the, into a producer who has to come in and then basically, or, or a publisher, I should say, yeah. who comes in and decides how things are going to go. Mm -hmm. Um, it's not going away. It is what it is. And that's just the state of the industry. And it makes more sense for them to continue trying to take a thing you might know the name of, make it a service type game that can last for the next five years or so mm. with continued income than to make a take a risk on a thing, make it a giant single player adventure, and then have it bomb because the people making the game didn't know how to make it good enough. But then you'll... you'll you know, you'll it's see. almost a self... Sorry. It's almost a self-correcting... Um, 
a, a position based on the fact that company sees that they've released bl- bombs, right? Yeah. Not everything catches. No. Some things get niche, but for the most part, they're trying to get that huge, huge uh, 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 initial boom. And they're seeing lots of bombs. It becomes It's almost a self-correcting behavior to be like, well, we might as well bomb in a way that like if we do hit it can make up for it by by like really raking it in continuously every month than being a single one-off that then disappears well it's, it's like one of those weird anomalies that happened on the ds maybe sometimes the Wii, depending but it was like let's release a bunch of call of duties on every platform and it's like let's release a call of duty on the ds who cares just fucking release it that version goes on to sell a million copies like the version that you spent zero money on. What's the most successful SKU of Street Fighter Four of all time? 3DS. Because it sold consistently over the course of like two, three years. Yep. And like that, that is the actual, that's where you won actually. Yep. You spent the least amount of money on that version, but you somehow made the most. People that have a 3DS are going, well, yeah, I guess I want Street Fighter I want to see these this. little dioramas move around. Yeah, you know? yeah. Uh, I was going to say, you know, it's like the weird anti behavior of this where there's a little bit of pushback and I hope companies that do kind of just go, Oh, fuck this. Just games as a service. Just mm-hmm. make whatever. Oh, I have one. I have a good one, but is, yeah, is, is Star Wars battlefront. Okay. That game comes out and it's fine. There's nothing to do really. There is a minuscule amount of content, but it looks great and plays. Okay. There was a, some bits of DLC that were added. But it sold so well because it came out right when Force Awakens came out. And just generally Star Wars games sell pretty good, depending. Um, Then there's all this pushback going, you know what would be cool for a Star Wars game? Star Wars. Like a story or like characters, something to rally around. I know other Battlefront games in the past, the old ones, didn't have much of a story. If they did, um, I didn't play them all. But now we're getting this like massive like five to seven hour single player story mode on top of all these new multiplayer modes heroes across everything like that is the i did not buy battlefront and when i played it a bit from a shimmer episode i was not impressed by battlefront but this Ooh. one i'm like do i want to play as darth maul fight fighting um uh uh fighting ray or finn yeah i do do i want to play as this like like new um new story within like the, 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 the new universe of force awakens and the last Jedi. Of course I do. Why wouldn't I? So that's where I'm going in. And like, I'm, I'm going to assume that's going to sell way better than the first one. A, because it's a sequel and B it's actually has more of the things we want. If it was just called like space guys, yeah, it, it could have been a multiplayer thing, but the I'm fact still... that you're coming off a huge cinematic universe with a lot of storytelling. I mean, I'm still like always a mistake to not have a story mode. Yeah. I, I, I still feel that like, I don't know, maybe a, a part of whatever. I, I feel like a bit, a little bit duped in that. It was they, they when they said like, Oh no, this is going to be black battlefront was going to be the platform for star Wars. And they're yeah, like, oh, this yeah, is our one game. Dupe. And then this is it. And then when the next game co- movie comes out, the, the DLC, but it's all going to be here on this. And the idea that they're going to just hold on to that and work with it for a while, like a rock band thing, yeah. was a, a thought that I was just naive for thinking they might not be lying about. But, yeah, I, so, yeah, I'd like to think you know, that I, they'll, they'll do that I for hear this you, one. but like I, 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 like, I was on the first game hoping that that was going to be the case type no, of thing. You know? So, what are you going to do? Um, so I, you don't get to play as Darth Maul then? <laughs> Well, I mean, I played as Boba Fett. I played as Vader. I played as yeah the VR X Wing pilot. I had a good time. Okay. Um, did you did you spend any time with the first game? Yeah. Okay. Because I, I, I it was pretty fun. Yeah. No, it, nothing wrong with it, the way it played, but I was like, that's it. Yeah. Um. No, it, it is nice though. You're all right. That is a good thing. I with well, the other good thing fighting back, and I can't find the fucking picture, mm. but it was really cool. It was just a collection of images uh of like the highest rated um games uh, uh releases on open critic uh of the year and they're all these single player indie games uh you know, well, uh, you know cuphead yeah. and um uh god uh, like, that you know what i can't think of anything the more opposite of a games of a service than cuphead. than fucking cuphead yeah 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 no for sure for sure um 
and uh, it was just like it was just a giant list of like and and then people made like image macros of stuff of like thank you for still releasing FDA. not you EA single player games you know and whatnot like yeah it's nice to know that you know there's still giant awesome games that are doing really well that are fantastic that are going to be coming out mm -hmm. because indie developers are putting out whatever the fuck they want yeah you know um so uh yeah that's that's uh that's the one silver lining i suppose but uh, as far as like larger major uh, things go it's a world of gas it's a world of loot boxes it's yes. a world of you know you saw mini buys you, you saw i'm not sure we talked about it initially when it happened but you saw that metric that uh, blizzard put out in may of this year i think they updated it since but i couldn't really find a follow-up article to it mm. did you see how much money they made just on loot boxes for overwatch blizzard yeah no you want to take a stat throw out a number oh god like like what I need to know is not the number, but I need to know how much more than sales of the game itself. Infinitely more. Yeah, okay. Like, Still want to throw out a number? God, don't say like a, a, a billion. A billion a dollars. A billion dollars in loot boxes. Jesus fucking Christ. And I think they updated it since. Oh, wow. That's a lot. Okay. So, you know, yeah. when a company says... We made a billion dollars on yeah. these shitty sprays. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you yeah. know. No, uh, it was it was uh, I was and I was I was um, misremembering. It wasn't just, just indie games. It was like it was just like just certain, yes, like like prop, some proper titles too as well. But it was like thank you, Neo and Nier and Zelda. Persona and Zelda. Exactly, like yeah, all yeah. the major huge single player games that came out. You know, fucking uh, 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 Horizon Zero Dawn yeah, was yeah, really yeah. came out this year. Like all that cool shit. That came out around, uh, 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 you know, January to like April. That that I think it was March when we or, or April when we were just panicking, <laughs> looking at looking at too many games to buy and whatnot yeah. around the, around Zelda's time exactly. Uh, but when yeah, it, when a company says we made a billion dollars off these random gifts, yeah, like every other company, who just, are, fuck you, who are you to say no? I'm not gonna do that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, no. It's just it's Charlie Day, looking <laughs> like 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 standing around, pointing yeah. at the board, and everyone's like, "But we don't want." It. He's like, "A billion dollars, <laughs> you know? It's just a billion dollars. <laughs> what are you gonna do? But, Not do that?" But you are at and the if you same time you're fucking blizzard yeah and you have a bunch of waifus and husbandos like sure. that doesn't work. But when you're not blizzard, Mordor. but when you're not blizzard, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. And then someone stands up and goes. We we don't want to do that. We have some really good ideas. Thank you kindly. Pack up your things. Yeah. Your box is the or or she did like or he just gets up on the table and cuts off his head like Bostanaka <laughs> and says, "As your leader, I know that you might have fi like find reasons to question my, my logic." logic. <laughs> Please talk to me in an open way and I, uh, allow me to convince you <laughs> that loot boxes are the way we're going to go. The price you pay. And if pay, you bring up single player or stories. <laughs> I collect your fucking, fucking head. head. <laughs> Just like this fuck, fuck over right here. Gonna fuck you and it's off. Amy Henning's head. <laughs> Oh man, that's it's visceral. Yeah, games. yeah, yeah. And everyone else is like, oh, oh. Da -da -dong. 